Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to Sam. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. What? It can't be. Our colleague is alive in some alternate dimension? A am I hearing this right? Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. This is a lot to take in. Take some time to process, everyone. We finally have some answers. Now we need to figure out what to do with them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. If you are free soon, could we talk? These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Aye. The Blackest Sea seems less of a concern when there are sharks leaping out at you. Catch a smile out there. got the sanctity. Hard to fix once it's broken.
waiting for time's passage. cure for constellation's wounds. Constellation is no stranger to loss. Our own founder left on an expedition and never returned. It is easy to talk about the glory and excitement of breaching into the unknown, of lighting the darkness, but it is hard to stare into the face of the cost. That all of our progress is built on top of the lives of those who dared. And that we owe them the courage to continue our work in their memory. If anyone else wants to say something... Hey, how are you holding up? Take some time for yourself, okay? Plenty of rooms to sit down in if you need to be alone for a while. We'll get through this. It might feel say, like everything's I... falling apart, but that's why we need to stick together. So, instead... I thought I would quote something that gave me comfort a long time ago. Is God real? The more proper question would be, is reality divine? Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to be uncovered. What is goodness but a comparison to the good? What is existence but a participation in being? For where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and... We all have to get through this our own way. Don't worry about me. Really, I'll be fine. That it may only be understood as primordial and even... We should have a talk, when you have the time, of course. Our essence is what was imagined by its mind. But what we consider imagining and what we consider mind are in fact so far beyond our understanding that even these metaphors are like the tiny white caps on a massive searching sea. There's more, but those are the parts that speak to me the most. I, um... Thank you. I was really thoughtful, Mateo. Thank you. Does anyone else want to say anything? Everyone is in mourning. I understand, but I cannot quite share in their emotion. I have seen death. I have lost people I considered close. But this is... It is not the same. I cannot explain why. I am not sure I am making sense.
thank you. I don't often speak about what I believe in. I have seems so things I wish to discuss with you. But death when you have time. is one of those occasions where it's hard not to look at one. Our friend is gone. There's no afterlife or second meetings. No god in heaven that is curating a perfect ending for me. So it's up to us. We are what lives on. The pain of loss inspires us to greater action than that is the good that comes from Humanity is what truly creates our world. We are the ones that judge things to be good or evil, joyful or mournful. Let us take responsibility for it. Let us remember what we have lost. Walter, are you part of the House of Enlightenment? I never knew that. Yes, well, I like to keep some things private. It almost feels wrong to be grieving, selfish. No amount of tears will bring the dead back. It's just easier to feel guilty, you if you'll excuse me. But when we die, Everything about us breaks down. Chat for a bit? Normally, I hate talking to people at funerals, but, well. Or due to the lack of a biosphere, we are simply You don't believe in the afterlife, do you? I mean, this might be the worst time to bring it up, but. Get pulled in some gravitational field and coalesce with other debris. Yes. Won't we all? Well, I've taken up enough of your time. The thought that after I die, the universe is just going to stand still forever. Could you imagine? The fact is that the universe goes on, that life goes on, that things do not just sit still. That right there is the comfort that I need. Yeah, we die. And some people go way before they should. But the universe doesn't care. Not because it's evil, but because it's infinite ever expanding and who wouldn't want to be a part of infinity even if it's just for a short while listen we don't worry about ourselves before we were born do we of course not we emerge from the universe as we return to it and for one beautiful moment we are here together um yes that certainly was an interesting perspective barrett No, what you're feeling right now is a chemical reaction whose evolutionary goal is promoting social cohesion. Never seems to work for me. No matter how many times I do this, I feel less attached, not more. Well, look at us. Two lone wolves howling at the moon on the same night. You know, if there's one piece of advice I can actually give you, it's that lost loved ones have a way of coming back to you. One day you'll be sweeping out some old shelf or digging through a desk and there it'll be. Some old paperweight of theirs. Or a piece of jewelry they gave you. Half jokingly. Theoretically, of course. You're welcome. Dusty. Dusty. Let's talk. I hope this is all okay. Between fixing things up and sending out messengers and getting all the paperwork done. It's not much.
I haven't really been sleeping much. I am. I'm not having the best dreams right now. Good. I... Good. Sorry, if I talk any longer, I'm gonna start crying. Um, could you excuse me? I will be monitoring everyone's vitals for signs of continued trauma. I am told these types of gatherings are a sad occasion. That assumption appears to be correct. No, I don't. I'm programmed to analyze sensory and biometric data so I can cross-reference. But I do not feel as you seem to imply. I appreciate you verifying my analysis, although I am certain my thanks will do little to improve your current psychological trauma. If you would like, though, I can add some consoling language to my programming. It will take some time to adapt, but it will be okay. How was that? I will note that feedback for later. lost my boy. Should be me buried in the ground. All I ever wanted to do was protect him. But no, he was out the door as soon as he could. Away from his mother, away from Akila, away from me. Now to the blackest sea? Two old friends. May their ghosts go past the edges of space to the great beyond. Aye. You one of Sam's constellation people? Lillian Hart. He probably never mentioned me. I mean, I try not to talk about him, so... Oh, I'm sorry. That was a terrible thing to say. Um, Chorus Mother, Sam's ex. God, I'm rambling. Look, I don't know who I should speak to about this, but Cora and I talked, and she's coming to live with me. She talked about you all the time. But right now, she just needs to get away from all the reminders of Sam. We'll be leaving soon. So say your goodbyes to her, if you like. Hi. So many people here. So many people saying goodbye. Are we supposed to 
feel better? Just because we're all in one place? What's the point? It's not going to change anything. Every day is going to be worse now. Don't you get that? I... want to be alone for a while, okay? <laughs> 